starting now. Good afternoon, everyone. What day is today? July 19. Yeah. So let's start. This is our every Sunday we have Kids Church Fellowship or Chapel Time for Wisdom Light Christian Academy students and Testament Ministries International Sunday School Kids. So welcome and let's start our Sunday School. I hope you have memorized at home our books of the Bible. Can you hear me? Can I see your thumbs up in the reaction? You press your thumbs up? Yes, thank you for your thumbs up. Very good. Okay, let's review, review the books of the Bible. Hi, very soft. So what are the first five books of the Bible again? It's Genesis, Exodus, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Okay. Yes. I have my daughter, my son. Oh, you practice. Yes, that's the five books. Now, major prophets. Chronicles. You sing along. Hi, Julius. Hi. Hi. Okay. Hi. Please read. What's the last book? Malakai. Malakai. Third is New Testament. Second Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, Thessalonians, one and two. Timothy, Second Timothy. James, first and second, first and second, John, John. I have sixty six books of the Bible. Okay. So, what are the history books? Joshua, with me, you can unmute yourself. Judges, Ruth, Judges, Ruth, First Samuel, First Story for today, First Samuel, Sit down, Mission, Chapter sixteen, verse one to twenty-three, and First Kings, Second Kings, First Chronicles, Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther. I hope you have memorized until Esther. Next week, we will memorize the poetry books. Say, okay. Okay. I, yes, very good. What's your name again? Ethan. Huh? I cannot hear you. Ethan, Ethan. I forgot. I cannot hear you. You can type. Ethan, Ethan. You know how to spell your name. So let's Ethan. review our memory verse from the previous Sundays that we learn. Hebrews 12, 5 to 6. What is it? My, my son, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord. Do not my son, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord. Regard lightly the discipline of the Lord. Nor be discouraged, nor be discouraged or faint because when you are ready. Sometimes God disciplines us. Or most of the time when we commit something wrong, 
So let's not just take it for granted. Let's learn our lesson. Do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, nor be what? Nor be discouraged or faint. I can hear you. Nor be discouraged or faint when you are reapproved or rebuked or by him. By God, by him. For whom the, For Lord, whom the Lord loves, he disciplines. So remember always that when your parents, God loves you, that's why they discipline you. Sometimes it takes you to break your attitude, behavior, so that, what? Again, again, show me your name. Uh, why I cannot hear you? What's happening? I cannot hear your voices. I know she is not mute, but I cannot hear. Anyway. Hmm. Ethan! Very good, Ethan! Thank you for that because I cannot hear you say your name. I think there's something in my... That I don't know. Anyway, it's okay. I continue. Let's review James chapter 1, verse 19 to 20. We learned this verse about Samuel when God is calling him three times. Yeah, everyone should be quick to, quick to listen, listen, slow, slow, to, slow to speak, and speak slow to become and slow angry. To become angry. So God wants us to be angry easily because man's because human anger does not reproduce the righteousness, the righteousness that God desires. We are angry sometimes we speak words that are not pleasing to God. Right? So, remember that First Chronicles 16, 25. What have you learned here? For God for great, is, the Lord for great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. praise. Yes, to be Thank feared you, above all God. But I don't know why I cannot hear your voice. He okay. is feared above all gods. Feared above all gods. No need. Remember, we are live. We cannot just live and back. So, remember the God of the Ark of the Covenant when it was placed together with the idol named Dagon? What happened to the idols? It crumbled, right? Yes. So, next, Isaiah 43, 15. I am the Lord. I am the Lord, your Lord, holy Lord, one. Lord, your holy Israel's one. creator, our Israel's king. Israel's creator, our king. We learned last Sunday about King Saul that he obeyed partially. He did not totally obey because he think he will sacrifice those things that he did not. He kept from the enemies, mga sheep, all these cattle. So to obey is better than I said, Hagios. Yes. God wants complete obedience, not partial. When you obey, when your parents tell you, okay, pay attention, take off your earphone, you only take off one. Is that correct? That's partial obedience. It should be both. Yeah. Next. So let's sing some songs. Are you ready to sing some songs? Give me your thumbs up. Yay, Ethan, very good. Donnelly. Okay. Yesha. Okay, Hos Abby. The fruit of the spirit is a coconut. Teacher can't hear the music. Nine. Oh, 
It's not a watermelon. It's not banana. It's not a coconut. Not a kiwi. It's not a strawberry. <laughs> so what are the fruit of the spirit? Patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Mine only. Not a grape. Not a grape. Yes. What are the fruit of the spirit? Can you memorize? Can you memorize? Yes. Why so fast? Okay, let's learn that as well. Um, everybody, you stand up on your feet. Let's sing rain or pour. Sometimes it rains in our life. We have so many problems and it pours more than what we could ever imagine. But God is there to help us. So let's sing this song. Everybody, stand up and sing.
Jesus pay the price so we could have eternal life. Continue, please. Don't stop now. So we could have eternal life. Get up, get up. Tell me to tell the world. Where's Abby, man? Hey. Abby, you dance, Abby. Get up, get up. Some people haven't heard. So we have to tell them because they have if you don't say, they cannot hear. They will not know. Get up, get up, get up and tell the world. Let's me now. Yes, dance. I think speakers have to be angry. Well, what are you doing? Get up, get up, then and tell the world. Stop, get up, and tell the world. Get up, then and tell the world. Amen. Okay, last song. I want to see Jesus lifted high. See Jesus lifted Hi, the banner that flies across this land When all the people feel and know He is the way to heaven Sing I said, sing I guess Wanna see, wanna see Jesus lifted high we wanna see. We wanna see. Amen. Okay. Uh, we're just setting up something with the mic because yes, it's not so clear. Yes, loud, please. No, it should be. Okay. Yeah. If you have your Bibles with you, please open Samuel chapter 16. Yeah, so you will know that our story yes. will come from that chapter in the history book. So the good thing about the Bible is that it's not a fiction book. It's the story there is real. Because it cannot be. Because it cannot be seen. Okay, let's continue now with the story. If you want Jesus to be lifted high, if you want Jesus to be lifted high, you have to obey his word and continue sharing what he wants us to share to other people because people don't know if we will not share. Okay, are you ready, kids? Give me a thumbs up to, if you were ready to listen to our story for today. Very good, Ethan. Very responsive. Uh, Jesra, also, thank you. For those who are look, uh, looking us, uh, watching us live, thank you very much. So we are doing this every 5 p.m. every Sunday.
Philippine time. Okay, I'll play now, so pay attention because after the story, I will ask question, what's the main point? What can you learn from the story? Amen? Okay, pay attention, has said. Oh, I don't know that song either. Who disobeyed the Lord? Who's the first king of Israel? He is Saul, King Saul. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. And from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David. Samuel then left and went to Ramah. Okay, so from that story, what have we learned? Many times we thought, Samuel thought that, oh, this is the... This, well, can you see me, right? In the big screen? Yeah. So, when God told him to find a new king because God was not pleased and he regretted so much of choosing Saul as king because of his um, not obedient heart. So, because of that, God told Samuel to find a new king. But he rejected him as king already. So Samuel went to Jesse in Bethlehem, this place where he has how many sons? I think it was eight, right? So first one was Eliab and the second one. Every time the kids come, Samuel thought that, oh, this is the one because he's so handsome, he's strong, he's tall. But do you know, sometimes, most of the time, all the time, God does not see and base his judgment from what he sees outwardly. Can you say outward? God looks where? Touch your heart. God wants people who has a pure heart who loves him, a heart who is God, who fears God. That's what he is looking for. So let us pray that God will help us 
to have a heart yeah. that okay. solely devoted to Him. Not so worried about how you look like. Why my face is not white? Why my nose is not sharp or like that? Why I have so many things that you want to change outwardly. You know you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You don't have to change anything. God wants to focus in our attitude, in our heart. So that's what we can learn from there. Okay, let's move on. Can you hear me, kids? Clearly? Can I yes, see teacher. Some, if you can hear yes, me? Teacher. Yes. God told Samuel, do not consider his appearance. If you know how to read this, read. Or his height. For I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. Sometimes in the world, no? Most of the time, they look at your credentials, how you dress up. But actually, we also need to put importance on that. Because if you are truly right with God, you also don't want to look ugly or not uh, messy. You also want to look neat because if you look great, it also reflects that, wow, she is not only beautiful in her character but also in outwardly. Because who you are inside will show outwardly. Even simple dress, simple way of taking care of yourself shows that you are a child of God. Okay, the Lord does not look at the things that people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but God looks at the... Can you make a heart shape? Can I see you making heart shape? Oh, Ethan, I, is that a... Wow, bigger heart. Okay, how to do that? Yeah. Oh, very nice. You have so many ways to make a heart. I said... Oh, Ahia Hagios also is making one at my back. Okay, do you know when God bless, anoint the person, God's favor is on him, on David, on us. When we really seek God first, God's favor is upon us. And you know, God's, when God's spirit dwell in us, you know what happened? Let's watch this, okay? No. The Holy Tales Hello, my name is Tubby I live here in this wonderful library And I love to eat books I live here with my friends Gumbo and Freckles Gumbo, Freckles, come out, come out Wherever you are over there, on that great book, is Grand Old Holy. She is really old and wise and tells us wonderful stories when she is awake, that is. Oh, and we love to sing. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart. Sorry, what the happened? Down in my heart, I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. Hi, Holy. I hope you are up. We are here for a story from the Bible. Yes, I am hungry for a story. Okay, I will. But you have to promise to listen carefully, as at the end of the story, I will ask a question. We always do. All right, then. This story is about David and his harp. Saul was now the king of Israel, but God had rejected him because he was becoming a bad person. God had said that the next king of Israel would be one of the sons of a farmer called Jesse. This was David. Now King Saul was often very ill. He suffered from fits of madness and only music could make him feel better. 
he sent for his servants to get him a good musician who could play him music whenever King Saul had his attacks of madness. The servant said to Saul, Your Highness, there is a boy. His music is lovely and he's quite famous for his songs. Maybe we should call him. Saul ordered his servants, Call that boy to the court. The boy they were talking about was none other than David, the son of Jesse. David would often play his harp and sing while watching his sheep. Soon he had become famous for his music. Not only was he a good musician, he was also blessed to be the next ruler of Israel by God himself. So David was called to Saul's court. So whenever the king would get his attacks of illness, David would leave his sheep and run to him to play gentle and soothing music for Saul. David's music had a calming effect on the king. And soon, the king began to really like the little boy from Bethlehem who was able to bring peace to his disturbed mind. What he did not know was that this boy would be the next king. Now children, I hope you were listening carefully because I'm about to ask you the question. If you get it right, I will sing along with you. What did David play to soothe the king when he had his attacks? I know, I know. David would play his harp to soothe the king when he would have his attacks. That is right, Tubby. Well done. I got the joy, joy, joy. Okay. Do you know? <laughs> Good. What we do, just like, just like what? When God's spirit was with David, God's presence was with him, and he keep on like he doesn't just sit down and watch the ship do nothing. He practice his sling. He practice his musical instrument playing harp he made a lot of poems songs poetry that's why we have some 23 poetry yes so and the servant of the king soul that time was walking along and looking for a good musician who can help the king because king soul was maybe the evil there's the spirit that makes King Saul like mad. He, he just sometimes stare in the wall and do nothing and just get mad so furiously. So he needs something to calm his spirit and he is not sleeping anymore. So because of that, the servant is looking for someone who can play very wonderful music. And they heard playing his harp while tending the sheep. You know, when we do our best, when we always do practice, you're good in dancing, you practice, you're good in playing piano, you keep practicing, you offer everything that you know, your talents, your gifts, your singing voice, you keep singing for songs that will glorify God and you offer your voice to him you know God gives us different talents the parable of the talents those he gives sometimes one talent two three five talents and if we use our talent for the Lord he will multiply and make you be more effective but if you have just one talent and you're not using it, you just hide it in your closet. Oh, nobody knows that I have a good singing vocal voice. But nobody knows because you don't sing in church. You do not sing for the Lord to bless other people. Or you may be very good in uh, fantasy writing. Or you may be very good in your pronunciation or good in your skill in teaching somebody but you don't use you know if you don't use what god bless you with someday it will just be taken from you and the lord will not bless you more because the bible said if we are 
faithful in little things. If God knows you're an obedient child, God will bless you. You know, David is very obedient because his father tell him to tend the sheep, even being a shepherd for the sheep is not a nice uh, position where to in Israel. It's something like people don't like to be a shepherd because he will smell bad, because of the manure of those sheep, and you will be away under the sun, and there will be lions, bear who will attack the sheep. It's a dangerous um work but david whatever his father asked him to do he will just obey so that's why he has that kind of heart and i'm you know even nobody can see you you are always the one helping your parents taking care of your brothers and sister uh, god knows that you love your shobe your shoti god knows it and Someday, just like when Samuel chose anoint David, he told David, God chose you to be the next king. Not right away, because David was still young. So even though God has not chosen David yet, he is already having that kind of character who loves God dearly. He doesn't want people to put God's name down. And after he was anointed, he continued to be prayerful, singing songs for God, like that. He did not become impatient. Why I'm anointed, but I'm not yet a king. No, he, just, he was just patient, waiting for God's time for him. So I don't know wherever you are right now, trust God to always have his own time because in his time he makes all things beautiful okay let's review some of our other things that i've listed here lesson we can learn from this book first samuel chapter 16 verse 1 to 23 after our story time you can read your your parents open the bible and your parents will read to you so we can learn that when God's favor is on you, God's favor is to those children, young, youth, adults, senior citizen. God looks at the heart. If your heart is right before God, God's favor will be on you. And that favor will look for you. Remember when Jesse, the father of Hesed, remember when Samuel asked Jesse, where are your son? Because among your son, the Lord told me to bless to be the next king. Of course, as a father, he thought that the eldest would be blessed because he is very appearance wise. He is strong, healthy, strong. It's okay, has said. It's okay, Hagel. Okay lang. So, where am I? But, maybe their heart is not really that in tune or close and intimate with God. Unlike David, when he is alone in the field, he always commune with God, talk to God. He put God first in his heart. That's why God's favor was on david so when god's favor is on us he will look for us so just uh samuel prophet samuel told his uh david's father jesse are these all your son and jesse said what there's one more the one the youngest is tending sheep and prophet samuel said okay we will not sit down until he is here Ask the brothers to go and what? Look for the younger brother, the youngest, which is David. So that's how it is. When God's favor is on us, that favor will search and look for us and find us. So be faithful where God is placing you. Even though like the mundane 
activity that you are doing, like washing dishes, helping your parents, uh, prepare, uh, setting up your meals, helping your mom. Everything you do, God knows. God is looking. And He has wonderful plans for us. And His favor will bless you and have wonderful plans for you. Amen? Everybody say, Amen. So that's Amen. What, what we can learn from David's life. God's favor was upon him. But that doesn't mean there's no problem. In the succeeding Sundays, we will talk more about David's life, how God is leading him. Okay? And we can learn also that God's measuring stick for leadership, for looking for the next king, is not based on outward appearance, right? But is based on the heart of the leader. Because if the heart of the leader is not right before God, is proud, is unhealthy, insecure, or what? The church or the school or the organization that he is leading will not last or will not be blessed. So that's why God is very careful in choosing a leader because leadership determines the rise and fall of any kingdom. So David in his psalm, in his one of his prayer in Psalm 25 verse 5, he prays there that lead me to your truth. Teach me your ways, O Lord, all the time. He always depend on God. He always seek God for wisdom, for guidance. And as a leader, you should be very sensitive to listen to God's leading. Because many people are following you. Third, lastly, is that we can learn that when you are skilled in your craft, like David is very good in playing his harp as a musician. You will serve before kings. He was chosen among all the other people who can play music, piano, whatever kind of instrument. But it's the servant chose the servant chose David to be the one who will be playing for the king. So, do you get that? Do you learn something today, kids? So whatever you're good at or even not so good yet, continue practicing because someday you don't know. In God's time, He will use you to be a blessing to many, to be a channel of blessing, to expand your territory, and you will be serving before kings, presidents, prime minister. You know, don't know. God has its own way, its own time. To use us, just be patient. Keep practicing. Sing more, learn more Christian songs, learn more skills in how to be better each day. Not to be lazy. Okay, let's read this verse for today. Stop picking your nose, everyone. Quiet hands. Do you see? Skilled. Do you see a man skilled in his work? He will stand before king. Proverbs 22 verse 29. Good reading has said. So if you are skilled, you will stand before kings. So remember, whatever you do, if my, your parents assign you to do something, do it all in the name of Jesus to glorify God. Don't half-heartedly. When your parents ask you to wash dishes, make sure you do it well. Don't leave something there. Do it joyfully, willingly. Okay? I didn't see you. Okay. Yeah. So our memory verse for today is, He will bless. Favor. Those who fear the 
Uh, still, how, how old are you, Ethan? Abby, five? Mom, I'll go to the school pop up. Who else? I'm charge you dito. Like me, I'm already 43 years old. Whatever age we are, if we fear the Lord, if we honor the Lord, the Lord will bless us. Whether we're still young, we're still 14 years old, 16 years old, or when you are already like my age, or even when you are angkong amana, God will bless us when we fear the Lord. Fear the Lord means you honor to God. Amen? So next week, we continue 1 Samuel chapter 17. So you invite your friends to join us, okay? So let's sing songs. Okay, let's sing songs for the Lord. Everybody, stand up and dance. Do you, do you, do you know this Jesus? Do you, do you, do you know the truth? Do you, do you, do you know this Jesus? Do you, do you?
Let us come to the Lord in for our closing prayer. I hope you learn many things today. So what's our memory verse again? Let's review for the last time. What's our memory verse? He will. Again, uh, let's memorize. Where can you see it? Psalms. Um, 100 Psalm 115 verse 13. Verse 13. He will bless those who fear the Lord. He will what? He will bless those who bless fear the Lord. Those who fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. Small and great. Psalm 115 verse 13. Okay, let us pray, everyone. Close your eyes. My hands is praying. Close eyes. I said, come here. My hands is praying. Close eyes. Dear Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Me. Close eyes. Close eyes. Always. To always. Honor you. Honor ya. To put you first place in my heart. To put your place in first my place heart. First place. First place. In my heart. To my heart. Help me. <laughs> to ask sorry. To ask sorry. And forgiveness. And forgiveness. If I commit. If I commit mistakes, mistakes, help me, help me to be obedient, to be obedient. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. Bless me. Bless me. Guard my heart. Guard my heart. That I will have. That I will have a pure heart. A pure a heart. A heart that longs after you. Long after you. A man or a man or a man after your own heart. After on your own heart. Like David. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, enjoy your dinner everyone. It's already hungry. So see you next Sunday. I hope to hear from you differently. I think I need to check my curve. Okay. What you call that? Why I cannot hear anything? So God bless everyone. See you next week. Bye bye. Invite your friends. Thank you. 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 Thank you.